In the last video, we talked about how to set up a problem involving a continuous charge. In this video, we're actually going to work a particular problem to show these steps in action. We have a 14 centimeter long bar and is charged uniformly with minus 22 microcoulombs of charge. What's the electric field at point P, 36 centimeters from the middle of the bar in the figure shown? So I'm asked to find the electric field, let me change my color of my pen, to right here. And I'm asked to find that based upon the charge in this, which is uniformly charged. Very important, uniformly charged. Step one, we need to draw a small box somewhere representing a small infinitesimal point test charge. So there's our infinitesimal amount of charge on the thing. Its amount of charge is dq. So when we write dq, what's going to be mean the charge in that box. This box has some width, dx, and it's located, let me again change my pen, it's located at a distance x from the origin. Now, the next thing it asks, it says, after we draw that small infinitesimal charge, we're asked to go and write dq in terms of the integration variable. Well, dq is always equal for one of these linear problems to lambda dx. So what I really need to do is find lambda. And lambda is the total charge on the bar divided by the length of the bar. So that's just q over l dx. I also need to write r in terms of the integration variable and I can do that by just looking at my graph um, I'm sorry my picture r is the distance from my box to the point P it's this distance there's the point and I'm going out to the point P well that's the total distance D here minus the distance X that the box is from the origin. So R is simply D minus X. And now you see what we've done. I said earlier in the previous video you have to convert all of these variables in terms of one integration variable which in our case is going to be DX. So here we've got it written in terms of X replacing R. Here we've got Q written in terms of X everything's getting converted over into the integration variable. The next thing we're going to need to be able to do is to write the uh, field here in terms of the force that a positive charge, test charge would experience. So we're talking about writing this in terms of a magnitude and then the direction that the force would experience. Well it's K and it's the magnitude of lambda dx over r squared times the direction that this force would experience. Now what would this force experience? If you go back and look, if you put a positive test charge here, this bar is negatively charged, it's going to pull that chest charge in the minus i hat direction. So this is in terms of minus i hat. And putting in all the information we have previously acquired, that's lambda, absolute value of q over l, d minus x squared times minus i hat dx. Now all we need to do is insert that integrand and integrate. So the electric field will be E is equal to the integral over all charges. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Of K absolute value of Q over L D minus X squared minus i hat dx. Where do the charges start? Well, we'll have to go back again and look at our drawing. 
when we start in the far left over here there are no charges no charges no charges no ch until we get right here at x equal minus l over 2 then we start charges so minus l over 2 is the beginning of our integral and our ending limit is when the charges go away and that occurs right here which I don't have labeled which should be x equal l over 2 right there after that time there are no more charges so those are the limits of our integral so we have minus l over 2 to l over 2 now several things in this problem are caustics and can be pulled outside the integral that's nice it simplifies our integral considerably we have k we have the magnitude of q we have minus i hat we have l we have the integral minus l over 2 l over 2 dx over d minus x or if we prefer since this is squared we could write it as x minus d squared now we got to solve that integral let u be defined as x minus d du is then just dx when u is what if x I'm sorry when x is equal to minus l over 2 then u is equal to minus l over 2 minus d when x is equal to l over 2 then u is equal to l over 2 minus d putting this into our integral we have as follows e is equal to k q minus i hat over l I have an integral from minus l over 2 minus d to l over 2 minus d and I have u to the minus 2 du this is equal to k q over l minus i hat and that's equal to minus u to the minus 1 so u to the minus 1 and I kill the minus sign there and that's evaluated from minus L over 2 minus D to L over 2 minus D plugging in those limits we have E is equal to K Q I hat over L then I have 1 over L over 2 minus D that's L minus 2D with a 2 on top and then minus L minus 2D put the 2 plus now what did I do here well I took that minus there and I took that out and wiped out the minus between these two guys so just a little bit of algebra pull the two out front 2k q i hat over l and find a common denominator so let's see I'm gonna get l plus 2d here and then I'm gonna get plus l minus 2d there and for the denominator I'm going to get L minus 2D times L plus 2D and we see that the 2D on top cancels the minus 2D I get L plus an L which is 2L so I can cancel I'm sorry I get 2L my fault um, so I get an L and L that's another 2L so that would make 4 but I can cancel the L here 
All right. So if I've done that all correctly, then the electric field should be equal to 4k magnitude of q i hat over l squared minus 4d squared. Now you have all the numbers necessary to plug into this equation to get the final answer. You've got the total magnitude of q you got k is 9 times 10 to the 9th newton meter squared per coulomb squared. You got the length of the bar, and you have the distance d. We'll show you those back here at the beginning of the problem. There was L, 0.14 meters. Remember, you got to use meters, not centimeters. Minus 22 microcoulombs. That's minus 2.2, 10 to the minus 5 coulombs. And the electric field is a distance d of 0.36 meters. So everything you need in the problem is there for you to punch in. And you find that the electric field, because d is going to be bigger than l, you're going to get a negative out of the bottom. And that means the direction is going to be in the negative i hat, which is going to be attractive. All right. See you in another video.